The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to sign a document you've received in the Signex platform. In this video, we'll discuss logging into Signex, different authentication methods, entering a password, handling incorrect information, how to sign, and accessing the document after signing. Keep in mind that throughout the video, depending on the company that sent you the documents, some of these emails or screens may appear different with specific company language, colors, and logos. The first prompt you'll receive is an email notifying you to use the link to log in and sign. When looking for this email, make sure to check all your folders such as junk or spam folders. That link will take you directly to the Sinex page. The first page you will be taken to is the legal consent page. Now depending on the authentication which the submitter has required for you, this page may look different. In this signing example, no additional authentication is required, and after accepting legal consent, the signer can progress to the next screen. To view the legal consent form, click here. If the person who sent you this document has requested you to receive an SMS code, you will see a screen that looks like this. If you do, ensure that you click to accept legal consent first in order to trigger the SMS code to be sent to your phone. If the screen you are brought to looks like this, you must enter in the last four digits of your social security number and date of birth. This information will be used along with several multiple choice questions about yourself to help verify your identity. After you've authenticated yourself, the next page will ask you to create a password. Password requirements can be found here. If you've used Sinex in the past, you'll be asked to re-enter your password. If you can't recall what your password is, you can click here to reset your password. If at any point you notice any of your information is not correct, you'll need to contact the individual who sent you the document whose information is included on the email you were sent. Finally, you will be brought to the document to sign. Clicking the Go button will take you to the first place you need to take action, or you can scroll through the document at your own pace by clicking Let Me Review. As you go through the document top to bottom, make sure to click in boxes you need to check and click on the word sign for your initials or signatures to appear in the field. You don't need to do anything for date fields as these will automatically be filled in. Once you are finished with all responsibilities on the document, the system will automatically prompt you to finish. There are a few ways to access the document after signing. Immediately after signing, you will be brought to a page that allows you to view the document you just signed. However, if you would like a copy of the completed document, you will need to wait once all parties have signed and you will receive an email where you can log in again and download the document for your records. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll see you in the next video.